For the second week in a row, something I thought I'd never find in a thrift store is sitting right in front of me. And these are easy to overlook because they're signed by the artist and not the company that produced them. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Today I'm back at the Goodwill at Cheyenne and Rainbow here in Las Vegas. It's a bit cloudy today, um, but still quite warm, about 90 degrees. So let's go in to the air conditioning and see what we can find. Let's go thrifting. Today is Saturday. It's really, really busy. But a little birdie told me they're restocking this morning, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we'll wow. have some lovely full shelves to look through. Let's grab a cart. Our color of the day is gray. All gray tags are 50% off. And look, Saturday, August 17th, $5 off a $25 purchase. That's exciting. I'm sure we can manage to spend $25. Here we are in the hard goods section and I've spotted something on the top shelf. It looks like an Austin sculpture, vintage from the 1990s. It's $13, daddy's baby. Now something large and heavy like this is going to take up a lot of inventory space. So I need to make sure I can sell it quickly and make a profit. Let's look it up on eBay. I'll open up the eBay app in my browser, go to the search bar at the top and type in what I want to find, which is Austin Daddy's Baby Sculpture. I'll push enter and eBay will show me the results. I'm seeing 15 listings here. Prices are ranging from 35 all the way up to 100. Now, not only do I want to know how many are available for sale, I want to know how many have sold in the last three months. I'll go over to sold items, completed items, and eBay will show me in green items that have sold in the past three months. There's only two compared to 15 listings. So for that reason, I'm going to leave it on the shelf. Some candle holders. Here's a fruity one. And there's a hummingbird one here on the corner. Sadly, both damaged, as is this rhino. Here's an Eric Stoffer figurine, a fake Hummel, they're often called. Ooh, these are interesting. Glass flowers. I believe these are arms to a chandelier light fixture. Pink and yellow. They're eight dollars a piece. There's another one way at the back here. And this fun little plaque, shop like you mean it. <laughs> That's great advice. Now, I don't think I'm going to pick up the glass flowers. I'm not sure that they are all here. And the center fixture is nowhere in sight. This is interesting. I think it's missing its glass dome. What else do we have? Another candle holder here. This one is possibly party light. Every candle holder seems to be damaged. This is sweet. Somebody's project. It's a little Route 66 birdhouse. Just decorative. I don't think it would stand up to bird use. <laughs> a covered dish here. It's $8 Japanese ironstone. They have it priced just about at retail. I think if it was English ironstone, it might be worth a little bit more. Look at this caterpillar. He's decorative ceramic. He reminds me of Eric Carl's The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I love this plate, $4. It's a chicken in the sun with some sunflowers. Perfect for a farmyard themed kitchen. 
let's pop this into our cart. We'll make it our first find. This is amazing, a handmade totem. Tragically, it's broken at the skirt there, but for that, I would definitely pay $15 to take this piece home. It is such a shame that we have to leave it. Let's keep going. There are all sorts of figurines and collectibles on the shelf. This one is broken. Ceramics and porcelain. Oh, here's a tile. These always sell really well for me. This one, I believe, is squash blossom. Squash blossom summer. The artist is Rochester, Jacqueline Rochester. It's only $3, so let's put this into the cart as well. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It doesn't cost you anything at all, but it really helps my channel and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Look at this glass rooster. I believe he's a replica of a vintage Murano piece. The quality just isn't there. $5 and he's a bit wobbly as you can see. We'll leave him for somebody else. More glass here. This is a plant watering dome. Some vials. And figurines. This is a little bell. She's lovely. Bells don't sell too well for me. And uh, this one is six dollars. Here's a salt candle holder. Lots of clear pieces on this shelf. I tend to take my time here because it's easy to miss quality crystal. We've seen that teapot before. Here's a project, a little sunflower girl and some etched glass, it's a candle holder. Glass mushrooms sell really well for me. I love the colors of this one, browns and golds with a sparkly glitter swirl. It's $6, let's definitely grab that. This little angel is a glass taper candle holder We've got trays, trinket dishes, bowls, and servers, some crystal. Here's a tidbit dish. Sadly, this blue is different to this blue. They don't really match. Over here, a salt and pepper and cheerin set. Uh, Italian design, but I believe these are made in China. Quite lightweight and uh, a bit chipped. I do love the style of this tray. Sadly, it's damaged as well. $5 on that. Back here, I've spotted a daisy and button pattern serving dish. I do love this pattern and sometimes um, it does glow under black light. Let's take this over to the cart. We'll pop it in. I have my big black light today. So we'll shine it on the glass and see if it glows green. The glow means it has a low percentage of uranium content and that's really popular with collectors today. Here we go. I've got my black light. Let's turn it on. We'll shine it on the glass. No, it's not glowing green, just a little bit of purple. So we are going to leave that on the shelf. These butterfly domes sell well in a booth. I don't recommend shipping them. Lots of resin mounted animal figurines. Sadly, all of them seem to be damaged. Let's see what else we can find. A wall hanging ibis or antelope there. Oh, I love this little Shizu figurine. I think the brand is best of show. It's $6. 
that still leaves me room for some profit there. Night lights and candles. I love the stripes on this toothbrush holder. Oh, this is one of those plates with the hidden images. I can see a horse and some howling wolves. Sadly, they just don't sell too well for me, so I'm going to leave it. The same with these porcelain lidded uh, boxes here. Very, very pretty, hand painted, I believe, but uh, they just seem to sit in my inventory. Let's put the pup safely onto my Thrifting Vegas blanket in the cart and we'll keep going. Cookie jars, this is a lovely little piece of Mexican pottery. It's a mug. We'll have to keep an eye out for the rest of the set. I believe these are sold in fours. What else? Stacks of plates and platters. Some really big letters. Ooh, here is a Vegas Knights bobblehead. I always pick these up when I find them. This is Jonathan Marcheseau. Uh, he's actually, oop, he's actually my favorite Golden Knight. Ooh, he's ten dollars, but I just can't leave him behind. In the cart he goes with our little mug there. Here's a fun little piece, a resin cube with some shiny pennies inside. Two dollars, let's definitely grab that. Some spreaders back there and an incense fountain. This looks like margarine baston, a little candle watering can. I don't ship candles from Las Vegas at this time of the year. It invariably ends badly in a melty mess. So as much as I love this piece, I think we will leave it for somebody else. Ooh, look at this, a little grape mini uh, cup. I'm not sure if this was part of a set, but I do have some subscribers who collect miniatures. So I'm going to pop that into the cart. I think it'll be a hit. This looks like a napkin ring maybe. I'm not sure. It goes with this set. Here's a sunflower trinket tray. Is that pewter? Little bee birdhouse. Probably it goes with the other piece we saw earlier. And these, I think, are vintage uh, bonnet wall hangings. Decoupage, possibly, and paint with some flowers on there. We've got some coasters and a holder back here. These are stone in wood and a shamrock underneath. I thought this might be Balik for a minute, but... I think it's just a little souvenir type piece. What else? We've got a stuffy pig here. Oh, what's under here? This looks antique or vintage. A hand painted vanity tray with yellow roses. It's six dollars. I think that's just a bit too much for me for retail, for resale. So we'll leave it. Over here in the wood section, I have spotted some totems. I believe these are made in Alaska. They are $3 a piece. Let's lift them up. Yes, they do have that mark. Creed Totems is the brand. They're really nicely made and they do sell well. Lots of plaques and signs. Ooh, this is vintage monkey pod wood made in the Philippines. It's a really unique shape and I love the grain going through it. Three dollars. Let's definitely pop that into the cart. It might have originally had some wooden fruit or a set of mugs on it. So we will keep an eye out for those. I like the contrast of the metal on this black sign, Ooh, but it's very, very heavy. So I think we'll leave it on the shelf. 
This looks like stained glass, but it's actually painted glass and it's peeling and coming apart quite badly. So we'll leave it. This is a vintage wooden step stool. It reminds me of the stool I had in the bathroom growing up so I could reach the sink. Isn't it strange how you see something and it takes you back to a different time and place. That's why thrifting is so fun. It happens to me all the time. A big tray there with coffee and boxes. Oh, look at this piece. Inlaid wood. Absolutely gorgeous craftsmanship here. Look at the grain on that. It's really, really lovely. It is almost like one of those mini lane chests that uh, demonstrates what a big piece would look like. It's absolutely gorgeous. We will definitely take that with us. The hinges are lovely. And next to it, this tile uh, serving tray. It's in rough shape. Even worse on the bottom. Some terrible water damage there. So sadly, we'll have to leave that. We are here in the metal aisle, although this piece <laughs> is definitely ceramic. I'm drawn to this angel. She has a recycled glass star inset in the middle. She's a pillar candle holder, $4. She has an older made in China sticker on the base, but she's very nice quality, perfect for the upcoming holiday season. So into the cart she goes. Also up here is a vintage brass small change uh, tray here. Lovely quality, very heavy. $2, a solid brass sticker on the base. We'll grab that as well. Lots and lots of baskets. Oh, look at this. It's a little ornament, a shell with a ribbon for hanging. Quite heavy, $3 on that piece. We'll take it as well. Racks and holders, planters, wine racks and wall decor, all sorts of treasures here. Here's a saxophone. Oh, it's a really big piece of wall decor. Again, great if you have a booth, uh, not so easy to ship. Thermo flask and desk organizers. Lots and lots of black metal. It's quite hard to see what we're looking at against the wire shelves here. More candle holders and storage. Baskets and trays. I always like to look at every single shelf. You just never know what you're going to find. You never know what's been put over here by mistake or if somebody has changed their mind on something. There's a reindeer stocking holder, not ever such good quality. A little Greek souvenir plate for $3. Sadly, it's quite damaged. So uh, I think we'll leave that on the shelf. A matching snowman to the reindeer. What's this? <laughs> a bucket for a snowball fight. Here we are in the mug section. Some pretty pink rosebud teacups up front. You know, I think I'm going to have to go back and grab that lovely hand-painted yellow rose vanity tray we saw earlier. I keep thinking about it and I just can't leave it behind. I've spotted Snoopy back here. This looks like an old mug. Let's see. Snoopy is an attorney. My mug, it says $2. I think I'm seeing a 1965 copyright. Let's definitely pop that into our cart. I'll keep looking where there's one, there may be more. If you need sets of mugs, this is the place to be. The circle ones down here, black, red, and blue. There's also a set of plain green ones. 
I think this woof piece is a canister missing its lid. Those do make great planters, as do teapots that are missing their lids. We are in the vases, planters and florals here. Lots of florist pieces. Here's a cherry colander. Some terracotta. Ooh, what is this? I see an etching on this glass. You don't see seahorses very often. This is fantastic. Absolutely lovely piece. Only a dollar. Really mid-century. Let's pop that into our cart. As you can see, I was able to grab the yellow uh, rose vanity tray. So that is very exciting. I have to learn if I even have an inkling that I want to purchase something, I need to put it in my cart. I can always put it back later, but there's nothing worse than the feeling uh, of changing your mind and going back for something and somebody else has put it in there cart. This is a pretty hobnail piece. I don't think it's vintage, uh, just um, made to look old. Let's check it with our black light. It doesn't glow. We'll keep going. Lots of green and cobalt. This is the clear glass shelf. All sorts of shapes and sizes. This piece looks familiar. This is Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> a long way from home, Buena Park, California. It's an amusement park I used to go to uh, way back when in my high school days. Lots more clear and planters. I've spotted up top on the end here several decanters. So let's move around and look at those. I think these are very old, complete with their stoppers, but sadly they just don't sell well for me. So I'm going to leave them. There's not too much excitement in the kitcheny bits today. This is the miscellaneous utensil section. Here's a rolling pin. I think this is just made to look old, which is a shame because antique and vintage rolling pins can be quite collectible and fetch a pretty penny. I've got some baggies of baby spoons. What else? Plastics and bowls. This is a Mexican pottery design, but it's not sure what that is. A fruit bowl, maybe? This looks like art pottery, but it's got a ceramic lid. It's $5. I wonder if it's signed. No, a smooth glazed bottom. That tells me it's a more modern commercially produced piece, as is that one. Let's keep going. Trays and skewers, some canning jars, and bakeware. We're moving into the pots and pans over here. We'll have to do our check for Nordicware bakeware down on the bottom. There's a bunt pan at the back. Let's see. No, the weight is all wrong, and I'm positive that it doesn't have the Nordicware stamp on it. So we'll leave that. All sorts of muffin tins and cookie sheets here. So if you need extras for the holidays, they can be quite expensive at retail. And Goodwill always has a selection for just two or three dollars a piece. And then you can always <laughs> donate them back after you've used them. Not seeing anything else here. All sorts of pots and pans as well. These are such a great idea. A string of fairy lights attached to a cork. So if you have a favorite bottle or uh, a memory from an anniversary or a birthday, some occasion like that, you'd pop the lights inside, secure it with a cork, and it makes a really nice centerpiece or decorative item, lighting it up from the inside. Lots of pots and pans. So Rachel Ray, I'm always looking for all clad. 
This is the plates, dishes, and bowls aisle. Ooh, this piece is very 1980s. I think it's French. Milk glass with a floral design. It's $2. Just looking for the mark. Yes, there it is. It's Archipel of France. Let's definitely pop that into the cart. I believe it came with um, a couple of smaller bowls, but I'm not seeing those. In the lamp section is a Scentsy wax warmer. This one does have its tray, which is unusual. It's $8, only worth about $15. There's the Scentsy mark. A good one to look out for is the Tom Turkey one for Thanksgiving. I actually think I have one of those in my collection. I'll bring it out to show you. I've just been instantly transported back to my childhood again. Whose grandparents had one of these light up uh, fake logs in the fireplace? That brings back so many memories. I'm really glad you enjoyed my last video comparing Goodwill to the Assistance League here in Las Vegas and you did let me know that I'd missed quite a few good items at uh, the Assistance League. So we are back here, we're going to pop in and see if by any chance those pieces are still there. Let's go thrifting! There's three or four pieces we're looking for in particular that I'm going to take you all around the store just to see if they have anything new. I'm always excited to shop in here. Their setup is so inviting. This is their seasonal shelf. It has lots of fall items. Across the way, the Smalls display cabinet chock full of little odds and ends. The next shelf over is where I saw the first piece we're looking for. It was a metal dog on a wooden stand. Ooh, look at this gorgeous pink uh, Tanala Mexican pottery pitcher. That is stunning. It's $25. I do love that. The dog is not here, so let's move on. Let's have a little look at the vases and candles. Here's a pretty amber perfume bottle. I'm not sure that stopper goes with it though, and it's made in China. $5 on that piece. Ooh, look at this amazing pen and ink artwork. If you look closely, you'll see it's made up entirely of tiny black marks and lines. It must have taken hours and hours. That's 25 some of you really liked this car that says Jewel Company on the side. It's actually a Jim Beam decanter and it's $50, which is quite close to retail. Another one here and that is also $50. Such a wide variety of artwork here. I just love the little Cocker Spaniel up top. Look at this beautiful Fitz and Floyd Majolica jelly jar. Unfortunately, it's got some wear to the gold and a few chips here and there. Such a shame. It's a lovely, lovely piece, but for the damage, I would pick it up. They have it priced at $20. These are casino giveaways from the NGM Grand. They're coffee cups. The artisan wooden tray is still here at $30, but look at this piece. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. A wire peacock, definitely vintage. I love the gemstones all around. He's got matching gemstone eyes. He's only $8. I can't believe it. That is going straight into the basket. Another incredible vintage treasure. This one is a planter or trinket box. Beautiful green and yellow drip glaze with parakeets. It's $10. No damage. 
Absolutely lovely. Let's get this into the basket. I'm in the kitcheny bits and I've spotted another vase or planter hiding. This one is more modern. It's somebody's project, I think. It's blue with what look like little hoof prints on it. Only $5, a really unique shape. It might have a signature on the bottom there, but it's just lovely. Let's get that into the cart. Down here is a vintage plate. I love the swirl. It has a uh, gold rim to it, but sadly the gold is wearing off, so we'll leave it. On this display, I'm looking for the salt marsh pottery I left behind last time. That was the oval piece with the flowers on it. It's not here, unfortunately. That is a uh, silver plate. Got a trinket box here and some serveware. For the second week in a row, something I thought I'd never find in a thrift store is sitting right in front of me. And these are easy to overlook because they're signed by the artist and not the company that produced them. These will say R. Hetrick, but they're actually made by Freeman McFarlane, a very, very popular producer of ceramics in the mid-century. These are fantastic. $20 for the pair. I'm so excited. This pair is so 1990s. I think that's puffy paint over a metal plate and ceramic vase. Down here is a piece somebody asked about. It's etched, but it is in fact a Hobby Lobby. This piece is nice, but it looks mass produced and it's Threshold by Target. Lots of beautiful vintage hand painted ceramics on this shelf. Our John Perry sharks are still here, but oh, this is new. Look at this piece fused glass. It's dichroic up there, absolutely gorgeous. It's a signed piece. Let's definitely put that into the basket. I'm back at the display cabinets. This is a lusterware salt and pepper set. And over here is a teeny tiny pill box with a dragonfly on it. I think I'm going to get that. I'm waiting for somebody to come help me open the doors here. So I'm just making sure I know exactly what I want. There's lots of beautiful glass in this cabinet. It's a little bit too pricey for me for resale, but I have found a couple of items. Down at the bottom here is a little house. Here it is. It's $3. I believe it is English made. It looks very familiar to me. So I'm going to grab that. And this piece is little pewter quails on a piece of amethyst. And here we go with a rundown of the top five best selling items from my last haul. At number five, the little butterfly angel trinket box. I paid $3 for it and sold it for $20. In the number four slot, the stunning sterling silver and crystal wine bottle coaster. I paid $4 for it and sold it for $34. Coming in at number three, the incredible hand painted in oil gold panning pan. I paid $2 for it and sold it for $30. At number two, a double sale of both of these trinket boxes, the jeweled red piano and the gorgeous hallmark envelope with the card inside. I paid $8 for the pair and sold them both for $65.
And at number one, this is no surprise, the stunning black Hager cat was my best sale of the haul. I paid $8 for it and sold it for $86. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill, Assistance League, and a few Halloween items to get you jump started on the holidays. First, we have this lovely brass small change dish. It's very vintage. It's handcrafted in Taiwan, solid brass. I paid $2 for it and I am asking $15. Next, the lovely milk glass French dish with flowers. I paid $2 for it and I am asking $14. I absolutely love this monkey pod wood tray. It's a really interesting shape with a lovely grain to it. Made in the Philippines, very vintage, probably from the 70s. I paid $3 for it and I am asking $16. If you have a Shih Tzu, look at this fellow. I believe the brand is Best in Show. I paid $6 for him. He's really weighty, nice quality. I am asking $25. This piece is lovely if you collect miniatures. It's a little cup. It's a bunch of grapes with a gold handle and a yellow inside. I paid a dollar for it and I am asking $12. This is a Lucite paperweight filled with shiny pennies. They're all dated 1979. So if that year is special to you, this piece is ideal. I paid $2 for it and I am asking $18. I absolutely love this beautiful inlaid box. The craftsmanship is so fantastic and the different woods are lovely. Very, very detailed. It's beautiful on the inside with lovely hinges. I still don't know its intention, whether it's made as a miniature for a larger piece or just as is. Surprisingly, it's not signed. I paid $5 for it. I am asking $45. Here is Jonathan Marcheseau. He is one of our Vegas Golden Knights. My favorite player, number 81. I paid up for this at $10. I am asking $25. Back here, our fabulous rooster plate. It's hand painted, a lovely design. You can use it with or without the wire frame. Uh, the frame makes it easy to hang on the wall. I am asking $18. I'm so glad I went back for this gorgeous hand painted tray. Uh, it's intended for a vanity. I peeled the sticker back and it's marked Germany. I'm not sure of the year and it doesn't appear to be signed, but it's a lovely, lovely piece. I am asking $25. This tile is by the artist Jacqueline Rochester. It's a uh, summer squash and I paid $3 for it. 
I'm asking $25. It does have a hanger on the back, uh, made in the USA. It's missing its usual information paper, but it otherwise is in lovely condition. I absolutely love this uh, candle holder angel. I didn't show you the front of it in the store, just the back there that holds a pillar candle. You could also put a tea light or a votive in it, but the star will allow the light to shine through. I paid $4 for it and I am asking $18. In front of that, we have this gorgeous glass mushroom. I don't know if the colors are showing, but it's beautiful browns and golds with some glittery bits in there. It's nice and weighty, really lovely quality, most likely vintage. I am asking $28. This is a lovely pottery mug. It's got all sorts of whimsical fruits on the front. I'm sad that there weren't more of them. I paid $4 for it. I am asking $12. I found another mug at the Goodwill. This one is vintage 1965. Snoopy is an attorney. I am asking $20. Let's move back over here to this fantastic piece. As I mentioned in Goodwill, you don't see seahorse items very often. This is etched into the vase here. The vase looks black, but it's actually a very dark uh, blue if you shine a light through it. I paid 99 cents for it and I am asking $18. These totems are fantastic. They are made in Alaska. The brand is Creed Totems. I'll let you read the description there, three wise men. They're really nicely made, lovely quality. I am asking $25 a piece. One more thing from Goodwill was this Mariposa shell ornament. It's made of all recycled materials. It's nice and weighty, a lovely tree ornament. If you have a nautical theme, I paid $3 for it. I am asking $14. I'm excited to show you the items we found at Assistance League. However, I have just noticed something tragic. This uh, parakeet planter has some damage. Now I don't know if it happened uh, on the way home or if it was there in the store and I was just so excited I didn't notice but it has a crack and a chip right under the main parakeet. Nevertheless it's still lovely. Green and yellow. I paid ten dollars for it. And uh, with that damage, I am going to ask $12. I wouldn't be too terribly upset if I had to keep this for myself because it could be uh, nicely touched up. Next, this little dragonfly pillbox. It's just an inexpensive piece, but I absolutely loved the dragonfly with the purple. You just push the little button there, it opens up. I am asking $12. Next, our lovely porcelain coal port house. The detail on this is fantastic. 
I'm looking over it <laughs> to make sure it's not damaged and it appears to be in lovely condition. There's the mark, The Master's House by Coalport, made in England. I paid $3 for it and I am asking $22. Back here is our project vase. I am positive that somebody make, made this. It's absolutely lovely. I love the design. It does have a little discoloration on the bottom there, a little brown, just so you know. It is a signature on the bottom. B-R-U Brunwick something similar but it's just lovely very unique I paid five dollars for it and I am asking twenty eight dollars back here are glass plate lovely dichroic colors browns with blues and black and white lines on the bottom I paid five dollars for it and I am asking twenty five dollars Look at this fantastic fellow, a vintage peacock in metal, fashioned of wire with jewels on the feathers back there. He is incredible. I paid $8 for him. I am asking $45. Over here is our little pewter quail family on amethyst a lovely lovely piece i paid ten dollars for it and i am asking 28 dollars last but not least our fantastic freeman mcfarlane puppies designed by richard hetrick they are just so <laughs> iconic and stunning. I believe they are from the 60s or 70s, possibly earlier. They're in lovely, lovely condition. I'll show you the signature on the bottom. Our uh, Hetrick. I am asking $50 on the pair. I thought I would share with you a few pieces for fall coming up. We're in September already. This is a lovely Westmoreland um, goblet here. I believe originally it did have a lid, but it could be used for candy or flowers, anything you like. I am asking $18 on that piece. Here we have the ever popular glass pumpkin, perfect for candy corn or M&Ms, pretzels, whatever you like. I'm asking 25 on the pumpkin. Another pumpkin up front here. This is blue resin. These are hard to find. Really fantastic color with a curved stem. I am asking $24 on this piece. And we also have a few Ray Dunn uh, Halloween items. A happy haunting sign with two little ghosts at the top. That one is 25. We have this really fun beware mug. On the back is a pumpkin face. It's black inside, super for seasonal coffee or tea. I'm asking 20 on the mug. Another beware piece. These are hard to find. It's a watering can. You can use it as a pitcher or you could put flowers or even candy in it. I'm asking 38 on the watering can. And last but not least, a little candy jar with a ghost on top. It is, it does have a rubber seal on it. 
There we go. So it's airtight. It says spooky. I'm asking $22. Thank you so much for watching. If you see something you would like to purchase, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I'll put it on the screen right here. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. As I always say, if you fall in love with something, please do feel free to offer a few dollars over asking price to give yourself the best chance at winning the item. Please do also check out my website, thriftingvegas.com. You will find uh, thrifted items from my previous videos that are still available for purchase. And do stay tuned. I have some fun footage of our German shepherds, Rio and Bear, our cats, our fish, and our hummingbirds. As always, thank you so much to each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Bye. Are you ready to go outside? We are. Are you ready? We're at the park and running along the path is a road runner. I don't know if you can see it. Here it goes. <laughs> Wait until you see this guy. He's got two balls in his mouth. <laughs> He's teasing his sister. Bear. Bear. What have you got?
girl. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, watch for ticks. They're waiting for a stick. That's a big stick. That's a big stick. This is going to be so much fun. I am here at Goodwill, but I'm not alone. <laughs> my oh. mum and my daughter, Miley, are with us. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> what are we going to look for today? <laughs> uh, stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Cut. I was not prepared for that.